So John, what is aerating? Aerating is basically a mechanical form of putting holes in the ground. Uh, the machine puts a hole in the ground, brings the core out to the top, and uh, that's pretty much it. So basically, you're putting holes in the ground, is what you're saying? That's it. That's all you're doing. Okay. Now, uh, when would be the best time to do this? The best time to do it is spring and fall. Uh, aerating is a very important thing to do, and since Mother Nature gives the conditions uh, suitable for aerating in the spring and the fall with the moisture content, uh, that's when you want to do it. Uh, you can pull a better core, and the deeper the core, the better. Uh, during the summertime, the core aeration is harder to do simply because the ground is like concrete. It's very dry and very hard, and you can't get a deep core. So in the spring and the fall, you have uh, more moisture, uh, which allows you to get deeper into the ground and pull more uh, dirt out of the ground. Absolutely. And your plugs are going to be, you know, again, deeper and wider, so that way when it comes up to the surface, uh, the, the holes left behind can allow better oxygen levels and better moisture down to the root system. Okay, so that leads us to uh, why you would aerate. Right. Well, the best uh, the reason to explain why is, is as we said, you, the oxygen level goes down to the root system. Uh, that's important to do because everything needs to breathe. It also loosens up the soil so that the new oxygen getting down to the root system can make the root system expand. And it's a natural form of it, the next generation regrowth. Uh, it also allows the uh, uh, anything else you do, like the water or the fertilizer, to get down in there a little faster and react better. Okay, so we know what it is, uh, when you should do it, why you should do it. Is there anything else I need to know? Maybe some tips, maybe something to look out for when I'm aerating? One of the best things you could do is not remove the cores. A lot of people think, well, it's kind of unsightly, it reminds them of other things, so they want to rake it up and bag it and throw it away. Well, why? This is recycled material. You just brought it up to the surface. This is, this is, the, this is the stuff that's been down three inches. And now you just brought it to the surface, and once you water it or mow it back in, uh, you just brought nutrients back up, and you're recycling back to your lawn. It's almost like a free fertilization. Um, and the other thing you want to watch for is really for safety. Uh, make sure that underground cables, uh, invisible dog fence, underground lighting wires, things like that are marked prior to doing it. Uh, this does go down in, in some cases up to four inches. So anything that's near the surface is capable of being cut and uh, in, in a danger for the person. Well, okay. I'm Kevin. And I'm John. Thanks for watching.